In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to take a digital image of a signature, yours or anyone else's, and animate it so it appears to write itself on the screen. This is not where you do the writing yourself, but where you make that existing signature look like it's doing the writing. So what we're going to do is show you a very short example and then show you the steps to create something like that yourself. The first step in our project is to take our video. I'm going to drag a copy down and place it on track one. In this case, it's a video of the American Declaration of Independence. I'm going to take that same clip and drag it down to track number three. And then for the moment, what I want to do is hide track one. So I'm going to uncheck the checkbox on the left that will cause me to disable that video track. Then I'm going to click on track three just to highlight it. And then above the timeline, I'm clicking on the designer button. I'll click on the down arrow and then I will choose mask designer. Now here we're going to create a mask. We're going to create an image mask, which means I already need that image of my signature on my computer. So I'm going to click on this button here to the left of create an image mask. And here I have the image I want to use. Now in my case, I use a PNG file, which means I have a transparent background, which is very important. I also created this one so that the size of the file was the same dimensions as my project. In this case, it's 1280 by 720. It just makes it easier. And I position the signature where I want it to be on the screen. So I'm going to click on that and click on open. And then I'll use the top option which says use the alpha channel to create the mask. And I'll click on OK. And here I have the signature. I want to invert it so I'm going to click on the invert mask button over on the left side. And then I'll click on OK. The next step in my project is to animate these letters. So I'm going to click on to the plugin picture in the upper left corner. I, I can use the word plugins as well. And then I'll choose my plugin called Paint Designer. Now this is where I want to sketch over the letters. I want to make sure I cover them, uh, but I want, want to make sure I also do not, in the process, cover the same area twice as much as possible. Now I'm going to choose blue here just because it gives me a good contrast. And we're going to drag over as though we were writing this name. Again, I want to make sure I don't bump over here on the left side. I want to make it so I cover one spot once as much as possible. And the color you pick is the color that the writing will look like in the final analysis. In this case, it will be blue. So you see what I'm doing? It's a, a little bit painstaking, but if you're careful, it will look almost normal. I'm going to pause this and then pick it up when we're done. And here we are. Now what we've done looks pretty rough and pretty odd, but you'll be surprised at what this will do. I'm going to click on OK, and then we'll save this. I'll just call this RR for former President Reagan, and click on OK. And now I have it. Now this isn't very impressive but we're going to make it that. Watch what happens. We're going to take the pip object we just created and drag it and put it between the two clips. Now we're going to turn on our first clip so we can see it. And 
We'll make the screen a little larger so you can see better and watch what happens when we play this. We have actually used the combination of the paint and the mask to unveil only the part that we want. Now it's too short right now and oftentimes it might be. The way you fix that is you double click on your paint object on track number two. Drag down. You can speed up or slow down the playback. I'll actually make it six seconds long, but then we'll also make it stay on the screen under the freeze for 10 more seconds. And click on OK. And you can adjust these as much as you want. And when we go back to the beginning and play this again, now we have a little bit slower writing, but then it will remain on the screen. And again, the color you picked is the color that will be for the letters. You can pick any color you desire. But that's a pretty simple way to take any existing signature once you've digitized it and place it on the screen so that you can animate it in your projects.